Aloha Stitch family and welcome to another video, another haul, and of course another Stitchy haul. And today's Stitch haul is going to be from Kohl's, which is a very, I don't know, she's an odd place Kohl's. Does anybody else think Kohl's is an odd place? Okay, I feel like, you know, I don't, I just don't always find stuff at Kohl's, but now that I'm looking for Stitchy things on the regular, <laughs> They're everywhere. Stitch is everywhere. The weird and wonderful stitch is everywhere. And so um, while I don't have a lot and I have some that are not licensed things, they're not particularly stitchy things, but they fit into the stitchy world, I think um, I'm excited regardless. And I think there's just always, always ways you can fit stitch, stitch into your life, even at Kohl's. Okay, so I'm gonna be frequenting there more often. And before we get into this video, if you're new here and you want to be a fellow Stitch cousin and get some weird and wacky content in your inbox, um, some more weird stitchy videos, then click that subscribe button down below and be notified every time there's a new weird video. Okay, so for starters, I mean, A, I've already got my my guy and my gal behind me, we're starting to build. We'll eventually like have a whole room to ourselves. I've already pre-planned because yes, if you came from my other channel, my main channel, my Harry Potter channel, you would know my, the majority of my house is Harry Potter. Like literally the majority of my house, two floors of my house. I have, I am in a condo, we have three floors and I'm leaning toward the bottom floor being anything else <laughs> and we have a room it's probably going to be stitch i might change my mind because it's a smaller room and i'm like how am i going to do this i want to keep building like um i just want the whole room to be blue <laughs> which again anybody coming from that channel might be like what i can't believe she would wear that kind of color or be around that kind of like vibrancy in her life <laughs> but anyway um speaking of both i'm kind of wearing both which is the first item and it is a stitch shirt he is a surfing and it's got both you know my color right here we've got some gray situation but we also have a bright color so i like some balance and yeah he's on a surfboard what else he's got some flowers he's just having a time he's real happy look at how pretty it is it just fits in really well i will say all of the shirt sizes that i tend to get although i think some of these were in the junior section i do check the junior section at kohl's they have all sorts of stuff in fact that's often where the stuff is if you go to the women's section you just won't find much i find most licensed t-shirts in the junior section and the men's t-shirts so what was that i don't know <laughs> I feel like Stitch all the time, okay? It's a problem. I'm going to start with two things. Well, actually there's three things um, that are not like specifically Stitch. And this is what I do in the Harry Potter world um, on that channel. And just when I build out my house is like, I look for licensed things, but I also look for things that feel like they fit in the world. And one of the things that feels like it fits in the world are like the colors of Stitch. And who do I start with this or that? I don't know. Let's start with this. <laughs> and you know, the most common Stitch colors are like blue and pink. So blue for Stitch and pink for Angel. There's also like greens, reds for the flowers, like um, just, I was gonna say water, but you already have the blue in there. So I kind of am keeping an eye out for all of that. Um, and the first thing that I picked up, actually there's two, it's a pair, <laughs> are these slippers. So first up is the pink ones. They're a little lighter pink, I will say, um, than Miss Angel over here. But I think they work, the, the light's making them a little bit brighter, but that's pretty accurate. They're, they're more of a pale um, pink, which will still play well if you're wearing something that's pink um, and you're wearing some stitched clothes and they're a darker pink, then it would still work. I mean, it's pink. This is the Lauren Conrad series, which I actually do have these in black. I've got a couple pairs because I love them. And they're the kind, you're, they cross over, your foot goes through here. I like to have my feet breathe, but I am looking at some stitch slippers, okay, that are so cute. <laughs> um, and then they have the rubber soles. Of course, it's gotta say Lauren Conrad all over it. Um, how much were these? 30 bones these were. What was I thinking? Um, so that's the first pair that I got. I think these were like whatever the smallest size is. And then I came across these. <laughs> and 
Is it like exactly the stitch color? No, I feel like it could have been a different blue and maybe when I come across a different blue, it'll work. But like just looking at these two together, I'm already getting stitch vibes. Like, come on. Stitch is like a variety of blues and there's a variety of blues just in the film. And I think it could work. Let me know, what do you think? Um, and do you kind of keep an eye out for like the color palette of worlds that you love? Um, I assume you're a stitch collector if you are watching it. So what sort of things have you found that aren't licensed or aren't specifically stitched, but they fit in and they help you like elevate your outfits and elevate your world? Cause we are world building here. Um, and then the next one, it's the last thing that's not like specifically stitch is a pair of sunglasses. I do want some stitch sunglasses, but I saw these sunglasses and they are blue. They're like a sheer transparent blue. Very cute. Let's put them on. I would like to hope I put them on. How do, how do we look? I think it's cute. And I picked these up because I thought when Ever I cosplay, because I'm already imagining going to Disney. Like I, I already am building cosplays for Harry Potter when we go to Universal. But when I go to Disney, you know I'm gonna be full on stitch. Like every everything, everything's gonna be stitch. And so if I don't come across any actual stitch glasses, or I just want to be more subtle and I'm being loud like everywhere else. <laughs> I'm generally loud. Well, not loud in speaking, but like in personality. Um this would be a more subtle approach. So this is another example of like what I keep an eye out, literally some eyeballs out <laughs> for things that are just basic, a basic B stitch. <laughs> okay, do I leave the best for last? I think I'm gonna leave the best, I'm gonna leave you hanging. I'm gonna leave the best for last. Um, this is not the last t-shirt. In fact, let me show you a very, very similar one that I came across. And this one was in the men's section. Um, and I did get it in a large, so it would probably be a touch too big, if not like, which I'm totally fine with. I wear it like a, I like sleep in. Um, but it is the same design, like I said, look, I couldn't stop. I really thought it was cute. And it's a red color. And you know what? The first thing my husband said to me when I picked it up is like, oh, that gives me Gryffindor vibes. Like any way I can mash the two worlds together, I will do that. And yes, I'm already looking at ways to mash the two worlds together. <laughs> like Stitch is Harry, Harry is Stitch. Yes, I'm doing that, okay? <laughs> so, because if you don't know, I mean, if you're a Stitch person and you haven't checked that channel out, I am a Gryffindor. So this is perfect Gryffindor colors, but that's nothing to do with Stitch. I just thought, you know, it just, it hits the spot in every single way possible. He's happy, I'm happy, there you go. Well, that is t-shirt uh, two of four. <laughs> the next two I got in the junior section. This one has got to be my favorite so far. And in the junior section, actually, I got it in a size small. So it must have been an oversized shirt because the junior section runs smaller, obviously. <laughs> um, and it's this most adorable. Look at this face. Oh, my God. And... Again, guys, like it's not that bright, bright green. I love a muted green where you're letting the character actually pop. Like, oh, this is my jam. And Stitch has got butterflies all around his little head. Look at that. He's so cute. And yes, I'm gonna say it again. This one gives me a follow the butterflies vibe. So I feel like both worlds are just blending again, but it also just gives me like hippie vibes. Like I literally grew up, grew up next to Woodstock um, and grew up like, I, I feel like as a hippie a little bit uh, in a lot of ways. So it just, it just taps into everything that is me and color, vibe, all the things. And then the last shirt, which is like a little more of like, it's almost got an acid wash to this shirt as far as like the texture of the material. Here is the texture. Like it's right up at the collar. I'm noticing some wearing and I kind of like that. Is this stitch who it's, he's kind of like, he's a little more purple. They played with the color of the shirt and he's just like most of these shirts I have, he's just sitting and he's got his mouth open and he's happy. So I need to open up to some other ones. <laughs> Oh my God, we're getting real yellow here. Hold on a moment. So yeah, and I really like like, okay, let me give you a close up here. He's got a real like watercolor vibe to him on his body. Like, look at that little face. Come on now. 
So, so cute. So yeah, the majority of things, and yes, I have one more thing, and it's adorbs. The majority of things that I got at Kohl's are all wearables. I mean, that is the majority of Kohl's. They have like, they have a home section. Let me know in the comments if you come across any stitch stuff in the home section. Like I've come across some licensed things um, in the pets area, like some toys. It's not a huge pet area. This is why I don't shop at Kohl's a lot. Um, I don't know. It's, so it's going to be mostly coal, mostly coals. It's going to be mostly coals. Obviously it's going to be mostly clothes at Kohl's. Although I think there are some things they sell online, but you're not going to get toys or anything like that. So I suppose it makes sense that that is why a majority of the things that I got are clothes. But the last thing that I got is not a piece of clothing. It is licensed while well, these all are, most of them were, and it's super soft and adorable. And it's this guy right here. It is a pillow. Oh my God. Let me just, just take it in real quick. Now, maybe if you're anything like me, when I first saw this, I mean, when I first saw this, it was stitched. I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. And then I wasn't sure. Like having just a head is slightly creepy to me. Like I can't even really do mugs. Like we've come across um, like Harry Potter mugs when we're Harry Potter shopping and it's just like the head and it just feels like a decapitation. <laughs> It feels wrong, okay? But I came around because he's so happy about it. Like, look at his face. And I am a person that loves soft and squishy things. So if it is both, it is hard to resist. And I love the way, like, his ears flop. So here's the other side of his ears. Let me give you a little close-up. Like, he is so soft. Like, probably one of the softest things I own. I would say he's softer than this one because it's a very different texture. Oh, my. It just hits all the senses right now, okay? But he's just, he's very pleased. And you can flip his ears out. Here is the back of him. Very plain on the backhand side. So he'd just be chilling. He's just gonna be chilling on the couch. And this is the, what's it called? What do they call it? Where's the tag? Um, it's called the Big One. I remember what it's called. It's called the Big One. And it's a brand that Kohl's has run and they've done like the Big One blankets. I used to have, here I'll slap an image up here. I used to have a Grogu um the big one blanket and their blankets they're they're fleece they're so soft so i'm really really hoping that they come out if unless they already have um let me know down in those comments if they've already come out with it uh stitch or i'm just curious if they have any disney but i'd be looking for stitch to be honest um and pretty much stitch alone but if they've come out with a stitch the big one blanket because uh, yeah yeah i need i need stitch blankets i need more soft things always so yeah, that is a wrap on Kohl's. It's not like a huge, huge amount of things. We've got shirts, we've got slippers, and I, you know, I just really hit the spot with this stitchy face. As long as I got Stitch's face somewhere <laughs> and I could like squish it or wear it or just announce it to the world how much I love Stitch, then there you go. We've, we've made it, we've made it, okay? <laughs> So that is a wrap on Kohl's. I don't know how many more we'll do of like just Kohl's because they tend to be closed and we'll probably like group it up, but I am looking forward to taking you out with us um, when we go out and hit up a whole bunch of spots in the future. And we're gonna be doing so many more things in this channel um, beyond just hauls and shopping, although those are fun. You know, I know, they're fun. We love them, we love us some stuff. So let me know in the comments down below, what goodies have you found at Kohl's? Have you found any stitch stuff? Do you have any stitch stuff from Kohl's? Um, and what was your favorite item in this lot, in this little haul? Kind of a mini haul, but I mean, you know, it feels big when it's stitch. But anyway, in the meantime, in the meantime, next time, <laughs> until I see you next, <laughs> remember to stay weird and be wacky. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>